rapid cyber attacks are threatening information technology operations across America. In what could potentially be the biggest hack so far, a ransomware attack has paralyzed the networks of at least 200 U.S. companies. In the wake of a potential security-related incident, U.S. IT company Kaseya urged customers to shut down their servers. Cyber attackers had smuggled ransomware onto its network platform. Kaseya claimed to have limited the attack to a very small percentage of its customers who use its signature VSA software. Kaseya describes itself as a leading provider of IT and security management services to small and medium-sized businesses. VSA software is the company's flagship offering and it is designed to let companies manage networks of computers and printers from a single point. Another cybersecurity firm, Huntress Labs, also said to be working with partners targeted in the attack, warning that some 200 businesses have been encrypted. Ransomware attacks typically involve looking, locking away data in systems using encryption and then making companies pay to regain access. According to John Hammond of the security firm Huntress Labs, major Russian-speaking ransomware syndicate, the Revel Gang, appears to be behind the attack. The same group was also behind last month's attack on JBS, which is one of the world's biggest meat processors. The Brazil-based company had ended with paying Bitcoin worth $11 million to the hackers. Multiple U.S. companies, including the computer group SolarWinds and the Colonial Oil Pipeline, have also recently been targeted by ransomware attacks. The FBI has blamed those attacks on hackers based in Russian territory. The cybersecurity threats were raised by U.S. President Joe Biden recently with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin at the Geneva summit. Biden had given Vladimir Putin a list of critical infrastructure sectors that should not be the subject of any malicious cyber activity. The UN Security Council this week held its first formal public meeting on cybersecurity. The members addressed the growing threat of hacks to the country's key infrastructure and acknowledged the grave dangers posed by cybercrime, notably ransomware attacks on key installations and companies. We all share this responsibility. As President Biden recently noted, and I quote, Countries need to take action against criminals who conduct ransomware activities on their territory. So let me be clear. When a state is notified of harmful activities emanating from its own territory, it must take reasonable steps to address it. Given the transnational nature of cyberspace, this cooperation is essential. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.